make your certificate deceive you. Most of the job that we are doing with our certificate is a slavery with packaging. And I want to let you know, even you that are working, don't be deceived by your salary. Can your salary take you for the next five months if they don't pay you? That is where you have to know that you have to run. But Bible says it is good that you be a body in the youth age. Let's use our youth age to carry the load. The energy is there, the earth is there. A time is coming when it will not be possible. I don't want to that when you grow old, you'll be calling your children to survive. Because the Bible says a righteous man live wet for children, children, not making the children retirement benefits. Don't let your certificate deceive you. Most of the job that we are doing with our certificate is a slavery with packaging. I'm begging you, please walk. This is the time. You know, at this age, you can do three jobs. The head is there. The age is there. The brain is there. A time is coming we will not be able. A time is coming. Age will make us ashamed to do certain kind of work. You are in your youth age. Thank God for prayer, but nobody said prayer. I always say it. Prayer is never a commercial product. If you pray for eight hours, you will still need a product to sell to have money. I want to beg us. Don't be deceived. Ah, I'm working now. After I'm working, old age poverty is the worst. People always get deceived by their salary when they are working. When they retire, that's when Wahala comes. Let me tell you, anybody who is living from salary one to salary two is a potential poor man. Anybody that even before the month ends, the salary has finished is a poor man. It only has packaging. Anybody that is business cannot function without him or her is a poor man. So when you see the list of the rich in the world, they can't people who have products. People who have set up system. I'm begging this church, please. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, are you working? I'm working. What is your salary? Uh, I'm collecting 250. Don't be deceived. For what distance can that salary take you? And you are not rich until you have cash flow. Thank God for prayer. Prayer will give you a potential. Prayer will give you an opportunity. Prayer can enlighten you. But to have money, you must solve problems. You must answer questions. You must provide service. Out of the three, when you have any or the two, it doesn't matter whether you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, you're an Igbo, you're an Hausa, people will pay you. Anytime you want to buy watermelon, do you ask the malam? Are you a Yoruba? When you want to buy honey, do you ask? When your bank broke down that you did make honey, do you ask whether it's born again? How many times have you asked for Kanaiza? Are you born again? Because born again will not put money in your pocket. Service we do. So you go to for Kanaiza not because it's born again, but because it has service to render. You go to Mecca, you go to the wire, you go to hairdresser, you go to barbing saloon, you go to laundress because they have a value to offer. My dear brother, don't be deceived by salary. Don't be deceived by little business you are doing. Do more.